What's going on guys? It's your boy Boxing Facts Over Fiction. I need you to do me a favor, a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. So Stephen A. Smith, one of the analysts for ESPN when it comes to sport, this guy suck at sport. I have no idea why they put him there. I think he's, he's there just to mock the fans. Um, he's a laughing stock. He doesn't know anything about any sport, basketball, football, or boxing. He needs to stop. The guy gets in there and sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, man. He he has zero knowledge of the sport boxing. He probably he don't even know these fighters' names. Um, he messes up on everything. The guy is an idiot, complete idiot. I have no idea why ESPN puts him up there. I said, I honestly believe they put him up there just to mock the fans because the the stuff he says doesn't make any type of sense. They need to fire this guy and put somebody who this idiot man had the nerve to say uh Gennady Golovkin won the fight 6-5. What the hell is this man talking about? 6-5? How the heck did Gennady Golovkin win the fight 6-5 when there's 12 rounds in the fight? So you're not gonna count the 12th round? What? ESPN should be ashamed of themselves for hiring in this fool. This guy is an idiot. There's not 11 rounds in the fight. There's 12 rounds in the fight. 6-5, you're missing one round, Stephen A. Smith. To be honest, I felt like Stephen A. Smith and uh, Teddy Atlas both were drunk because Teddy Atlas, his scorecards were ridiculous as well. Teddy Atlas said he had to fight 117-112 for Canelo Alvarez. I don't think anybody can agree with what Teddy Atlas said. So Teddy Atlas had to fight 117-112 for uh, Gennady Golovkin. And this guy, he had to fight six rounds to five. That tells you right there that these two guys were clowning um, on live TV, ESPN Sports. These guys was clowning around. They both were clearly drunk. They had no idea where they're, what they was talking about. Stephen A. Smith talking about 6-5. This idiot is talking about 117, 112. These two guys, they both were laughing right here. They both just made a mockery of themselves. 117, 112. Um, somebody should smack Teddy Atlas for saying some BS like that. And this guy's 6 5 when there's 12 rounds in the fight. I mean, these, these two guys, they just went out there and just embarrassed themselves. I mean, they think the fans are stupid or people that watch this stuff is stupid. Or they're just getting paid to say dumb shit. But that was the, some of the stupidest shit I've ever heard. These guys gave the worst interviews after the fight. Um, I personally thought Canelo Alvarez won the fight convincingly. About two, three rounds. Um, the right man got the decision. You can clearly see by Gennady Golovkin's face. Um, not just the face alone, but the fact that he was pushed back all night. And he didn't do what he wanted to do. He wasn't comfortable in there. He clearly lost the fight. But the fact that these two guys can be allowed to drink and then come on TV to come give interview to millions of fans watching this fight was uh, unbelievable. I'm appalled at ESPN for letting a guy like Stephen A. Smith act like he knows about boxing. And Teddy Atlas, I'm ashamed of Teddy Atlas, the fact that he does know boxing. But, uh, say nonsense like that 117 112 is ridiculous but hit that like button hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one more time these two guys i honestly believe they were drunk and they went out there and embarrassed themselves by saying some of the most ridiculous stuff i've ever heard six five doesn't make sense 117 112 for a guy like teddy Adams to say some shit like that prove he had some type of agenda or both guys were completely drunk.